construction. We're gonna get after it. Let's see what we got. Fashion tape should have been at the top, not at the bottom, because water's gonna get in. So all these bubbles indicate that the tape is not sealed down properly. As you can see, I'm coming to press it down all the way up. Missing fasteners right here in this area here and here. I set that nail pressure right. Look at this. Take a look. Manufacturer instructions. This piece right here should overlap this piece by three quarters of an inch. So roughly about like right here, this area, right? Well, it's not, and you can see it's starting to blow out. Looks similar to this. All these fasteners are overdriven. Could have just did it where, where the manufacturer wanted, put it in the slotted hole, but they nailed it to the flange. This area out, it's not overlap either. A little bit at the top, and at the bottom it's not. Yep. Oh wait, hold on, we made it in the hole on this one. Not over here though. Check that out. No pressure, it's an arc. This out lower lower part of the corner the seam we taped it we didn't put any tape going up stay with me same thing here i'm gonna go inside and show you there's no poly behind it there's no poly behind it over there we have poly but not here and not here look at that daylight water's gonna get in there one of them Bluetooth studs. Check it out. We got them going. That one's not horrible, but look at this one. And look at this one. Let's keep it going. And look at this one. Hmm. The mark with the uh, foam on this one. The cider isn't flush. You can see right there. You can see this stud is clearly cut short. But then you have your sill plate end right there. So typically, you're gonna want you're not gonna want to end directly above it at the top as well so you've got one directly above it at the top there so right there and here so all top plate ends so if this is a top plate in and that's a top plate in they need to be 18 inches apart that is not 18 inches apart um, this one over here on the left and this one is close to 18 inches but it's not so you're gonna have a loss of continuity at this wall it's almost like it's two separate walls framed out and they put them together and they didn't do a great job. And they added some stud shoes for no reason on this one. Another one of them Bluetooth studs. It's the mark with the foam on this one. So we got nail guards here, um, but we need stud shoes. That's less than five sixteenths of an inch to the edge. So we're gonna need stud shoes here, here, and here. So two stud shoes. This one will be all right. I'm gonna put it and be great, but we need one here and we need one here. Fasten this in here. It's really hard to show you in the video, but this is the end of the staircase up here. And it's fastened in. There's really no support other than that. So we do have a support right here, but that's a, that's a stair thread. So that's nailed into the top. So the pressure is going to pop that up. Um, so you look in here, there's no support. We have some support at the bottom because there's a landing over there, but there's no other support. Definitely cut short. Watch this. Stud all the way up, because we got load at the top. Have your gas line in contact with electrical, it needs to look like this. Add insulation. Let me give you your proper clearance so it's not touching on the back side. That's how it should look. There's not flush. Neither is this one. So we got an anchor bolt. We got an anchor bolt, anchor bolt, anchor bolt, anchor bolt, another anchor bolt. This is probably the first house I've ever done in seven years. I've done over 2,000 houses that has had this many anchor bolts. Good job, builder. They tried to repair the floor with this metal plate. That's gonna be an issue. This insulation's damaged. I get it, it's inside the wall. They're gonna probably add some insulation, hopefully, but it's still damaged. This is gonna be loose. Miss some foam. Check this out. So this is your subfloor right here. So look at that's real nice and tight. And it comes around, get a little bit of a gap, and you get a pretty decent sized gap here where it's gonna bow in. I'll put my finger on the back side so you can see my finger popping up. Can you see it? No, but 
it's a pretty decent sized gap here. You can see the movement. Again, you can see the gap. It's gonna allow for deflection. 